first go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google type Python and uh, press enter. Now the official website is visible python.org. Click on it. Here it is. Now keep the mouse cursor on, on downloads and here is the current version 3.12.3. Click on it to download. Download started only 25 MB. The download completed. Right click the exe file to begin the installation. Click open. Minimize. Now the setup started. At first select the first option use admin privileges. Then add python.exe to path. After that click customize installation. Now we have the optional features section. This will install pip. Pip is a package manager used to download, install and manage python packages and libraries. Keep it as it is. It will also install IDLE. IDLE is an IDE to run python programs. Keep it as it is and click next. Select the first option. Install python 3.12 for all users. Python will get installed in the following location. Click install. Now the installation started. Guys, we have successfully installed python. Click close. Now go to start. Type cmd. Click open to open the command prompt. Here it is. Now type the command python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. So we successfully installed the current python version. Now type py and press enter. This will open the python shell. Here it is. You can directly print anything from here. That's it using the print method. Press enter. And you can see we successfully printed our first program. Now if you remember we also installed IDLE. Go to start, type IDLE. Click open. We can also run our programs in it. Let's say I'll print something. I am printing my name. Using the same print method. Here it is, I printed my name. From ideally you can go to file. Save as. Desktop. I'll name it, let's say, demo. And I won't add any extension because it will automatically add it. Click save. Now we have the file demo.py on the desktop here.